I'm Rudiger Escobar Wolf, um, a PhD candidate at, at the Geology and Mining Engineering Department at Michigan Technological University. And I am one of the instructors in the workshop that we are um, uh, having with the counterparts of El Salvador and the intern, interns of uh, Puerto Rico, Mayagüez University. And I'm teaching a little bit about the remote sensing and um, hazard modeling uh, aspects of, of, of the workshop. So we, we're looking at some basic uh, concepts of GIS, how to model, for instance, mud flows using Laharzi, a software that originally was developed in the, G G in the USGS and then we, we adapted it to a local version. Uh, we are also looking at uh, remote sensing using uh, satellite imagery, Landsat images, uh, to look at how land use and, 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 and land coverage has changed in, in the area they are interested in. And it has been a very uh, busy week, but it, it has been a very good uh, opportunity, I think, for all of us, for me to also engage in this kind of activity, and, and, and I'm hoping for them to learn something about the uh, topics we're teaching and learning in this workshop. And Luke here, who is uh, basically also coordinating the, the workshop and, and helping, maybe you can give us some idea. So Freddie is a professor in the agronomy department in the University of El Salvador, and a year and a half ago, Dr. John Gerke visited us in El Salvador to write a proposal for a peer project, which is a joint effort by USAID and the National Science Foundation uh, to develop a proposal for this uh, new effort called the Partnerships for Enhanced Engagement and Research. And the project was funded, and part of the uh, proposal included a two-week-long trip for Freddie to visit us at Michigan Tech for a training workshop um, in and these concepts of how to identify and uh, map this multi-hazard environment. So right now we're mostly focusing on land use changes and mud flow modeling and also uh, flooding issues. San Vicente, the area where we work, has a long history of disasters and so there is no geology department at the University of El Salvador and so it's really up to the uh, agricultural engineering department in Freddie's case to uh, sort of pick up this, this effort for University of El Salvador.